okay. No. <laughs> now you got the boots of Hermes. So anytime you see these little foot, golden footprints, it means you can either run really far or run up a wall. So this is just like Mirror's Edge. A.K.A. just like Zelda. Now that you have these boots, you can go to unaccessible areas. Previously unaccessible. Yes. <laughs> so... I, uh, they, so they're on the same uh, weapon wheel as the bow and arrow and the flashlight. So, the, and then this is the final one. Mm-hmm. And I never use this one. And it's Except also telling just to you go that you places. can evade attacks while in the air. Oh yeah, that actually is helpful. And that you don't have to be on the weapon, right? No, no, you don't. So I don't. I'm not. I don't really use the weapon as the weapon, mm-hmm. but I use it to access areas. And then that evading in the air is nice, too. <laughs> That's just like an added bonus, I guess. <sighs> yeah. Gotta collect those orbs. Gotta get that. That's, that's good to know. Mm-hmm. There's a hard part coming up. Oh, yeah, when Hermes died, he turned into all these flies that you're seeing. In the air. Oh. Like his body turned evaporated into insects. Locusts? Mm-hmm. Uh, here's a collectible. So we get to take a little drakey poo. And how'd you make that collectible? Fleshlight. Oh. There was sparkling gold dust. Mm. When you Got see it. that, take out the fleshlight. Got it. Yeah. Were you watching me to make sure I take my drink? <laughs> yeah, I was going to make you. <laughs> you didn't take it right away. Can't, you can't be trusted. Clearly. Clearly. And this is life and death. Mm-hmm. So this next part coming up is one of the more difficult parts. So, um, mainly Why is be- it more difficult? Uh, because there's no checkpoints and because the enemies are tough. And there's some big enemies. So, what are you supposed to do? Because it's so tough. Well, I'm, I'm getting there. Oh. I'm killing some civilians first. So the first uh, wave of guys is just these Spartans that you can't pick up, that you have to counter their attacks. So there's three of them. And after you kill the third one, uh, the first ogre, I guess comes down. I'm not sure of the you know, technical name of the enemy type, but mm-hmm. it's not the kind of ogre that you can ride, which kind of sucks. So just take these guys out. You can knock them off the level or whatever, and then the ogre will jump down right in the middle. For these guys, square, square, triangle will... So always dodge their first attack. If you just try to attack them first, you'll lose. But once you get started, just keep square, square, triangle, and they'll keep falling back. Mm. So this first guy's pretty easy because he's alone. The next two guys, it's tough because there's two more of the Spartans as well as two more of these guys. You fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> so... <clears throat> If it's just these guys, it's pretty easy to take care of them because, you know, the square, square, triangle keep, keeps knocking them back. Mm-hmm. But when there's these other guys getting in the way, it makes it more difficult. So uh, they come up a few seconds before the ogre, so try to kill both of them if you can, but you can usually get one of them for sure. But can you block that attack? No. So what I do is I run over to this left side um, just to kind of get that guy alone to see if I can get rid of him those ogres won't get me closer oh they, they will um, I just got lucky right here because they were next to each other um, my first time through I killed them without using this little glitch yeah because they're getting caught on each other yeah <laughs> so you're saying I'm invincible yeah but even even if they aren't like that, the square square triangle mm-hmm. will work on both of them. You can hit them both. You can hit them both and knock them both on their ass at the same time. So, um, 
I just took advantage of this because it presented itself, and I was getting tired of playing this part. So, yeah, there's like four button quick time event to take care of these guys for the finishing move. That was pretty close to my death. Well, I can see that you're yawning, which is good because in a few seconds, I'm going to get another collectible so you can continue drinking and uh, snap out of your days. Your laxadaisical days. Don't worry about me, man. Worry about you. I, I, I already told people how to beat this part. Thanks. No, no need to thank me. Oh, okay then. <laughs> All right, I retract my thanks. Good. So yeah, after you take care of those guys, this that invisible wall, that invisible force field, will disappear, and you can get some orbs and a collectible, and we'll take a drink, and then once you go inside that door, there'll be a nice little save point for you. <laughs>